Hi, we're here today with Luke Monday. Luke is an up-and-coming multi-instrumentalist who's worked with artists such as Sia Cherry Holmes and is currently on tour with Marty Raven. Um, he's also performed with his band, a group of hot young pickers called Green on the Vine, and some would consider him to be a young musical prodigy. Um, so Luke, how did you get started uh, playing music? Well, I got started uh, right after that movie, Oh Brother Warthel, came out. My mm -hmm. dad bought a fiddle, mm -hmm. and uh, when he bought that, I was kind of got it, wanted, wanted an instrument also, so it was coming around Christmas time, and mm -hmm. he bought me a banjo. When I was uh, about 12 years old, me and my you know, mom and dad and sisters and went down to Broadway and started picking on the streets. And uh, Oh, really? That's interesting. Can you tell us a little more about that? Yeah. Uh, we just went down there and, you know, surprisingly, people like seeing kids and we mm -hmm. played bluegrass music and, you know, we did pretty good down there and, you know, uh, made, made pretty good money down there, made good vacation money, had, had a lot of fun anyway. <laughs> So, Luke, can you tell us a little more about the um, coffee shop up in uh, White House? Yeah, I can uh, tell you a little bit about it. It's just a little family-owned coffee shop that we run. My dad uh, and my whole family kind of work there. My mm -hmm. sister does and uh, have a few other different people that work there. But it's just been going well. We've been open about a year and a half and uh, play music there on mm -hmm. Friday nights and just have a good time. And That's great. Yeah, it's been going good. <laughs> Um, so can you tell us a little bit about your band CD? Sure. Uh, this little band we had a few years back, mm -hmm. we played around town and uh, you know, we were about 16 or 17 around that age mm -hmm. and we all just kind of made the CD and uh, we got a little bit of you know, playtime off of it just playing around here in a few different states and uh, we still hear a lot off the CD mm -hmm. and uh, you know, it's pretty cool. Alrighty. So you just got a job working with uh, Marty Raven. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about that? Uh, sure, yeah. I, I uh, actually was real surprised when I got the call. Um, I was just hanging out at the coffee shop, and mm -hmm. uh, a buddy of mine, Charlie Cushman, lives around town. He gave me a call and told me that Marty was looking for a banjo player, and uh, just kind of been in the in the job there for the last few months. And uh, I've really enjoyed it and traveled, you know, all over the this part of the side of the country mm -hmm. and uh, you know it's it's been a lot of fun big learning experience yeah. for me and uh, it's just been cool that's great <laughs>
So I see you're playing a Steve Huber banjo. Yeah, this is a Huber, and uh, I used to work for Steve a little while. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is made right here near home in Hendersonville, uh, Tennessee. And uh, it's a really good banjo. It's a vintage model he makes, and this is a VRB3 uh -huh. uh, mahogany model, and I really like it. Yeah. Here's an old uh, chromatic Scruggs lick I learned uh, off one of his tunes that him, Lester Flat did pretty good ways back. Kind of goes like this. This lick kind of starts uh, up here in your G position. You kind of slow it down for you. Like I said, you just start right here with your middle finger and uh, just kind of walk it down right there in the G, G position, and there uh, you go. Now I just kind of, after I got out of the G position down here, I walked it down on the four string and then went into my A chord, and uh, that's pretty much that lick right there. So Luke, you got started um, playing music very young and are already working professionally. Um, do you have any advice for other young musicians who might be looking for that extra little push? Well, uh, just what I did, just went around to all the jams and mm -hmm. uh, just kind of got to know people around town. I was really lucky to be uh, born and raised right here in Nashville, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, it's just been real good and good to me. Just, just always work at it, you know, always practice. Practice makes mm -hmm. perfect. Yeah. Well, uh, thank you very much for spending the time with us today, Luke. We appreciate it. Yeah, I really enjoyed it.